Hi, please um, take a second to click the subscribe button below and give me a bit of help with this um, thing, will you please? Anyhow, people ask how I jazzed up this old rockin' em empty carcass. I was lucky to get from the man who designed it. And here's the most basic and um, untechnical way of showing you. Hope you enjoy it. Cheers. First thing was to square off the headstock and square off the wood. Then I just glued it on and clamped it. I did use a softer wood, which was a bad move when it came to drilling the holes and the drill slipped. Ah, yes. So I did my um, headstock design, stuck it on some MDF, cut it out. And I screwed that to the headstock itself and then used the router to route it out, the shape, so it was solid. Done a bit of routing on the binding there, as you can see. Filled the holes, because obviously the tuna heads won't be in the same place. Then I started making myself a veneer, so I had some clear red cellulose lacquer, which I sprayed some wood red. The little bits made my veneer to cover the top of the headstock. Glued it on like so. Sponge for pressure all over. Come out pretty good. Um, the binding was a bit more than I chewed off more than I could handle, but it um, I got there in the end. I think it pretty came out pretty good. So that was the front of the headstock. And I taped him all up. I always liked the point at the back of a Gibson on the headstock, so I went for that. Just sprayed it black. Hides a variety of sins that that does. Um, then it was over to the body. I was going to go green until I realised Bono had um, a green falcon that I thought stuffed that. So I experimented with red. Red was going well. Red. And then I picked up a can of black spray by mistake. So I had to do a, I turned it into a cherry sun, cherry burst. And um, I was quite happy. I'm quite happy I made the mistake now. Washing lines are great for drying them in the sun there if it's sunny. Don't want to spray when it's too wet, damp. Um, so there's a lot of rubbing down though. You can see the holes are not quite lined up, like I said, when the drill bits. I should get a pillar drill treat myself. But lots of rubbing down, about 12 coats of cellulose lacquer, sand it down, rub down, and then polish it out. That also takes a long bit. There's the hardware I put aside, putting on, just trying it out. Um, Al Nickel 5 pickups, P90s, lovely. Um, the volume pot, two volumes, one tone. Someone said it looked like a Christmas tree, so I made the tone pot. I added lights, and if you pull the tone pot, they come on. Don't think I'll ever use it, but what the heck. Uh, one selector switch, got some old Imperial replicas, so following the Art Deco look, Imperial tuners there. Replicas of course, because I can't afford the originals, or if I can find them. There was an extra hole there for a tone, for some pot of some sort, volume, but I just stuck an eight ball in there because it glows nice with the lights. I'll have to change that if anyone's got any ideas what to cover it with. But in all it came up pretty good, I was very happy, so um Hope this video has helped you. Basically, it's take your time, lots of patience, and learn how to hide your mistakes. And you can do anything you want, really. Um, if you like the video, please click a like, that'd be appreciated. Um, I will do a music video of me playing it so you can hear what it sounds like in the next one. So follow my rocking roots and you'll hear it in the flesh. So please subscribe and um, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.